Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding challenge. In today's video, you have to find the below code output and you have four options to select from. And the question is, you have a const ax, which is a function, which is accepting two arguments, a and b. b is a default parameter, which is initialized with a value of 3. And within the function body, you have a console.log statement where it is printing arguments 0 and plus an empty string and concatenated with an arguments of 1. And you are assigning arguments of uh, 0 equal to 4. And then we have a console.log2 statements where it is printing the two arguments a and b. And finally, we are invoking the function with two arguments 1 and 2. And the options are, first option is a reference error, arguments is not defined. And the second option is uh, toll 1 and 2. And third option is 13, 4 and 3. And the fourth option is toll 1 and 3. So please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. I have this particular script available in the test.js file which has been called from index.html as you can see over here. So let me run this and make sure that everything is running fine. Okay. So I am running the index.html and I am just opening, uh, inspecting the, uh, inspecting and going into the sources where we will actually go debug uh, the uh, function. Okay. And here we will do that function and just let me refresh the page. So before we uh, deep dive into the question, okay, we, before we deep dive into the question, so what, let's see what is an argument all about, okay, what are function arguments. So arguments is an array like object, okay, it is accessible inside the function body and that contains the values of the arguments that has been passed to that function. So in our question actually we are actually uh, invoking this particular function right x of 1 and 2 when we are calling this function this particular uh, piece of code is executed and within that code we are actually accessing the arguments right. So these arguments whatever we are accessing which this responds to the uh, corresponds to the arguments that we are pass, uh, passing through the function okay. So it contains the values of the arguments passed to that function and it is available within all non-arrow functions. So it is not available for arrow functions. So these arguments are available only for normal functions. Okay. And we can use arguments.length property to count how many arguments the function was called with. So how many arguments we have passed to that function, we can get that uh, count using the arguments.length property. So right now, we have actually called this particular function using uh, x1 and 2. So the arguments that we have passed is 1 and 2. Uh, but we uh, already know that a will be 1. But what about b? Because it's already having a default parameter of 3. And that will be overwritten with whatever value we are uh, providing when we are actually invoking the function. So right now, if you go to b, it will be 2. Okay. So 3 has been overwritten. In case if you didn't provide 2 and we just uh, call x of 1, in that case b will be considered as 3. Okay. Now, okay. So now what when we are actually going to arguments, so if I print arguments, okay, console.log of arguments, okay. So what is an argument? So you can see here it's an array like object where it is having the 0th index is having uh, the first argument that you have or passed in the function and the second uh, in the second item as the second argument that we have passed that is x of 1 and 2 so that is available over here okay so now if i do console.log of a concatenated string of argument 0 plus empty string of argument 1 it will be printing 2 okay so you can see here that result will be 2 okay so this is tool. So the first option is tool. Okay. Now what we are trying to do? Now we are trying to reassign the arguments of zero. We know that arguments of zero is one, but we are actually uh, reassigning that to four. Okay. So when we are actually reassigning arguments, okay, that will not be getting updated. This particular a and b will not be getting updated. Okay. It is just the arguments object is getting updated, but not what happens, whatever arguments is passed, it stays as it is. So that is why if I press F10 again, okay, A will be still 1, okay. A and B does not change as we are actually updating arguments. So now if I press arguments, if you see here arguments, 
this get updated to 4 ok so now because we have reassigned this arguments of 0 to 4 so arguments object is getting updated but not the function arguments whatever we have called right so that is still the same so a still remains 1 and uh, ok a still remains 1 and this update update uh, updation has not affected a similarly Similarly, b also remains 2, whatever we have actually passed uh, in, invoked in the function, so that stays as it is. Even if it is a default parameter of b equal to 3, this is getting overwritten by whatever we are actually calling in the function, ok. So, now if I press F10, so you can see here, ok, I am just removing the breakpoint and refreshing the page so that you will be able to see the out actual output, ok. So, the actual output is 12, 1 and 2 and hence the option uh, B is the right answer. And apart from that I mentioned like, uh, so this cannot be used with an arrow function, right. So if I just do this, then you can see that it is, this is an arrow function and in this arguments will not be, so reference error arguments is not defined. So option A will be the answer if we are actually using an arrow function because arguments is not available for arrow functions okay it is avail just available for normal functions so that is why it has to be a normal function so that we can access the arguments object okay and when whenever we we can actually update arguments object arguments of 0 can be updated to 4 or 5 or any value but this updation will not be affecting whatever uh, we are actually passing in the function because this is this has been already passed 1 and 2 is already passed whatever update we are doing for the arguments object does not affect the values that we are actually passing as parameters ok. So that is about this one and default parameter is not having any effect this gets overwritten with whatever value we are actually passing over here. So now if we just call this function as x of 1 ok in this case what happens arguments of 1 is not defined right because we do not have that. So in that case what happens? 1 and undefined so it becomes undefined because we have only one argument right so we are just having one argument but console.log of b you can see here it gets printed as 3 ok because we have a default value so because this will not be getting overwritten because we are not passing any other value and arguments of 1 it is tries to find any arguments in that function invocation but it didn't it didn't find and hence it will be initialized as undefined and one concatenated with an undefined it will be like one undefined ok. So that is it and I hope you got an idea about uh, arguments and its availability just a recap arguments is an array like object it is an array ok whatever arguments we are passing to that function it will be uh, captured in an array items ok it will be zero from starting from zero index and it is not available for arrow functions and it is available only for normal functions and we can use the arguments dot length property ok that also just we will uh, see that ok. So if I press arguments dot length we have a length property ok. So through this we can actually access the uh, count of arguments that we are actually passing so you can see here it is 1. So if I provide a b also uh, any value if I provide ok. So two arguments I am providing so in this case what will happen uh, arguments dot length will be updated to 2 ok. So that is the way it works. So using the length property we can actually count the argument how many arguments the function has been called with. So I hope you got an idea about uh, arguments so and this particular question answer will be uh, option B ok. Option B is the right answer for the question that we have asked and that is it ok that is it for today's video thanks a lot for watching.